what's up everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you a quick overview of android 9 on top of samsung one ui version 1.1 on the samsung galaxy tab s4 the pi update was released uh, for the tab s4 on may 1st now i uploaded this video before but uh for some reason uh I didn't watch the video but uh, some of my viewers saw the video and all they got was audio not the uh, the video so I had to redo this but anyway uh, I'm just gonna give you guys my quick thoughts and what's a little bit of what's new on the uh, the tab s4 with uh, one UI version 1.1 on top of Android 9 now this is pretty much familiar territory if you have any of this uh, latest Samsung devices that is running Pi right now because the user interface it's all the same there's slight there's some slight changes but if you have a Samsung S10 Note 9 or whatever devices that is running Pi or One UI everything is basically the same except for some few changes as you can see this is One UI version 1.1 on top of Android Pi, which is Android 9. Another thing we have is the night mode. I'm glad that Samsung brought that over to the Tab S4. That was expected anyway, so it's nothing new. But like I said, if you have a Galaxy device, the newest ones, this is familiar territory. There's nothing really new, amazing, except for the fluidity of using the device. Now the Tab S4 is not the fastest tablet on the market when we all know that. It's nothing compared to let's say the uh, the iPad Pro because the iPad Pro completely blow this uh, uh, Tab S4 away. Well it, it's not even touching it. But uh, with One UI on the Tab S4 uh, a lot has been smooth. Uh, gaming on this device has been smooth. Uh, social media it's okay uh, even though most of the apps the social media apps are not optimized for this tablet they're optimized for phones so like you heard before they are blow-up versions of the phone applications for the uh, for social media they're not optimized for the tablet so uh, it was hard for me basically because when I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I had to scroll directly on top of the feeds in the middle instead of on the side of the uh, the device, you know. So that was kind of annoying. That's something that I didn't like, but uh, everything else has been okay. We also get uh, Samsung navigation bar or gestures now on the Tab S4, which is also good. Um, I enjoy that on my Note 9, on my S10 and uh, etc. Also new are some new uh, customizable features like the clock style, the widgets, and uh, some other stuff. But uh, like I said, this is new for the Tab S4, but it's not new for the S10, the Note 9, or any other Samsung devices that have Android Pie. A feature that I wish that was uh, brought over to the Tab S4 is the performance mode where you get to choose which performance you want the device at and uh, to choose the resolution i believe this is a 2 or 3k display i'm not sure don't quote me on that but it's higher than 1080p and it's, it's one of the best so that was something that i wish simpson brought over but we also have the uh the battery options uh the option to save battery to uh turn you know just turn off certain things in the background to preserve battery, which uh, this device has great battery life, which I appreciate. There's also been some improvement with the cameras. Uh, some of the features on the S10 lines uh, was brought over to the Tab S4, which again, I appreciate. Uh, I wouldn't say there was, there's a huge improvement because this is a tablet they never have great cameras you know there's no need to have a awesome camera on a tablet i understand that but anyway like i said there have been some improvement 
with photos and videos and stuff. I'm also working on a iPad Pro versus Tab S4 video. If you guys are interested in that, it's gonna be great. And last but not least is my favorite feature on the Tab S4, which is Dex. I enjoy Dex, I enjoy using Dex, and I love the fact that we have an option of switching from tablet mode to desktop mode. I like the fact that, you know, I don't have to pick up my computer every time I want that, that computer experience, that computer feel. So this is really great. Uh, I really enjoy using this, uh, this Dex feature. I think some of you might agree with me on the fact that this is something that I wish we had on iOS. I wish we had the option to switch from iOS to Mac OS on the iPad Pro. But anyway, that's it guys. That's my final thoughts on this video. Those are just some of my favorite features that I enjoy on the new One UI on the Tab S4. So if you took the time to watch this video, I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.